Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the built-in string functions in Python, such as center, count, index, and find. Before coming to these topics, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, right. Now, coming back to our uh, uh, built-in uh, string functions in Python. So, first of all, we will see our uh, string method center. Right. This string method center returns a centralized string in a given length. Also, it will pad using uh, the specified character uh, what we given in this uh, uh, sender method. We will see some examples so that it will be more clear. We will uh, declare a string. Suppose we will give as Python. And here we can see our string. Now here we are going to use our method center str dot then we are going to give center it's here okay of uh, here we can see total number of characters in this python one two three four five six okay here we have to specify the width here we can see that okay i'm going to give six then we will see that okay there is no change with our string now we will give more uh, greater uh, length str center of uh, we'll give seven and we will try it so here we can see in the beginning of the string uh, there is a space the same program we can uh, write like this str dot center so first we have to specify the width we given seven comma and we have one more parameter uh, that means we have to give uh, what kind of uh, character we have to give for padding so it's a fill care okay suppose we are going to give here space so we'll give a single quote space then uh, close that a single quote and here we can see see the same result see even we can pad with any character so with the same program we will rewrite str dot center of 7 comma uh, suppose here we are going to use uh, star so here we can see in the beginning uh, this uh, car star we will see some more examples uh, using this uh, sender uh, we will write str dot center here we are going to give 8 comma we'll give dash and here we can see the result so here we have six characters uh, in this uh, string python then two more characters added both side uh, what we specified here it's dash here we can see that before python and after python so it's centralized now we will give str dot center here we are going to give the width as a 10 comma then a fill care we will give a dash and here we can see the change okay we will uh, try one more str dot center 10 or we will give it 12 we will use uh, any another, uh, other character for example we'll use dollar symbol here we can see those uh, symbols so for a space uh, we can use str dot sender we can give only this uh, parameter width so by default it will take space uh, both side here we can see that okay now we are going to see the next uh, string method uh, that is uh, count this uh, string method count returns the number of occurrences uh, from a given uh, substring uh, or maybe from the given character also in this count method uh, we can give uh, the parameter stat and end 
but they are optional. Anyway, we will see some examples uh, so that it will be more clear. First of all, we will create a variable str. Uh, we will give this is my Python program. Okay. So here we can see our string str. Now uh, here we are going to use our uh, count method. Okay, str dot count. And here we can see we have to specify this uh, substring. Uh, suppose here we are going to give. We want to check for i. Okay, here we will give i. Remaining we can see it's optional start and end. So we will try this. And here we can see it shows two. Yes, it's correct because we can see the occurrence of this character i is two. Here we can see uh, i and here we can see the second i. So total we have two i. Now we will try another example str dot count of here we are going to count uh, this word python will give p in small and we will try it so uh, it shows zero because here this python start with the caps we will give that str dot count of p in caps python so now we will try it and here we can see it returned 1. So this uh, python count is 1. Correct. Now we will uh, try another example. Suppose we are going to give str dot count of here we will give is. And here we can see it, ret it returned 2. So in this string we can see there is one is and here is our second is. Okay, now we will uh, try with uh, the parameters start and the end. So str dot count. Here we will uh, count the number of i. Okay, comma. Next we have to give start index. Okay, we will start from 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, here we will give 4 comma then we will give 10 so it will start from the fourth index uh, till 10th index it will search for this character i so it gives the result 1 actually here they started searching from uh, the fourth index from this uh, string so here we can see just now i counted that uh, t start from the zeroth index so this is one two three and fourth one fourth one is this space so it will start from uh, this index uh, till uh, 10 characters so from here we can see only one i uh, in this uh, string okay right now we are going to see the next string method that is find Sure, as the word says its meaning, find. Uh, it's going to find a particular uh, substring uh, or maybe a character. Here uh, for this uh, find uh, has uh, three parameters. Uh, one, we have to specify the string. Then we have to specify the beginning, I mean the starting index. Uh, then we have to specify the ending index. Sure, the first parameter that is string, the string to be searched uh, is a mandatory parameter. Remaining two uh, parameters such as starting index and ending index are optional. We will see some examples so that it will be more clear. We will create a string. This is my Python program. And here we can see our string now we are going to use our find method using this uh, string here we will give str dot find so here we can see we have to specify the substring first so this is a mandatory field suppose so we want to find python substring 
okay here we are going to give only one parameter so here we can see uh, this uh, method returned 11 so it shows the index so we will count that 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and here we can see 11 the index starting python so just to keep in mind this find method returns index uh, if found that string what we specified even we can specify a character instead of a substring we will try this str find uh, suppose we want to find t so we can see uh, this uh, t at the zeroth index correct now we will see some more examples str dot find uh, here we are going to give a capital p so here we can see we have a uh, two p's in this uh, string so it returned 11 so it gives this p p uh, in python okay now we'll uh, try str dot find we will give a p comma now we are going to specify the stat index here we will give the stat index as 17 then we will try it now here we can see the result gives us 18 so now it shows uh, i mean it found this p the p in this program we will have one more example str dot find and here we are going to find i then we will give a start index 0 also we can give the end index we are going to give 3 okay and here we can see the result it's 2 so here in this string we can see i at the second index 0 1 2 so that's why it shows 2 here finally we will have uh, one more example str dot find uh, suppose here we are going to uh, find m comma uh, from uh, starting from 0th index uh, till 3 third index so here we can see it return minus 1 because we cannot see this uh, character or substring m uh, in this uh, area for index from 0 to 3 okay next we are going to see uh, the next string method that is index yes this index method is same like our find method then what is the difference between this find and index methods yes this uh, index method raises an exception if a substring is not found we will see some examples using this index method so that it will be more clear we will create str equals here is my python program and here we can see our string now we will use our index str it's here str dot index here we can give our substring we will give here then we can specify the end index the start index and the end index we will give 0 dot we'll give 10 so here we have to close this okay so here we can see at the 0th index okay it's correct so here starts at the zeroth index okay now just we will uh, rewrite this uh, program like this str dot index of here we can see the same parameters uh, three parameters like find substring start and end and these two parameters start and end are optional here we will give here h is in small comma 0 comma 10 
which is not present in our string we will try this and here we can see uh, a value error substring not found so this is the difference between index and find so it raises an error here so other than this all other things are same like find okay right so friends in this video we have seen uh, four built-in string functions in python such as center count find and index now friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below and if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.